Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and if you're new here I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. And today is no different, I have a really awesome recipe to share with you all. So this is my mum's date loaf. I love this recipe, it's really delicious, it's like giving your tummy a big warm hug and somehow it always just magically appears when you need it most. I guess mums just know. So let's bake this beautiful date loaf. So if you're looking for something a little bit different to your usual banana bread, this date loaf makes a really awesome alternative. So it's baked as a loaf cake. It kind of has like similar textures and flavors to a sticky date pudding, but it's far less indulgent. So it doesn't have like the caramel sauce and that kind of thing, but it does have the beautiful dates throughout and it's really delicious with some butter slapped on top. It is the perfect addition to have with a tea or coffee. So let me show you what you are gonna need. Okay, I have some self-raising flour, an egg lightly beaten, some butter, water here, this is some sugar. I have some baking soda and a pinch of salt, and this is fine desiccated coconut, and the star of the show, some dates, and I've just sliced them in half. This is also completely optional, but I have some additional dates and some roughly chopped walnuts to throw on top. You will need to preheat your oven to a moderate temperature, so 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I've also got a mixing bowl here and I've lined a loaf tin with some parchment paper, some baking paper. So go ahead and prep that, get it ready to go for our yummy loaf cake. There is one more thing you'll need and that is a saucepan. So we're gonna grab a few ingredients and head on over there now to our stove top. You will need to take with you your water, sugar, this is gonna get interesting, butter, whoop, and baking soda. And don't forget your dates. Let's go. Okay, so turn your stove onto a medium to high temperature and we are going to add in the butter, sugar, water, and our baking soda, not the salt. And add in your dates. We are going to let this now come to a boil and then we'll take it off the heat. Okay, this is foamy, bubbly, and it was just boiling, so I've just taken it off the heat here and it can just sit here for a couple of minutes to cool down. So as we're just letting this cool down, you can see here that the dates have just softened. So they're still quite intact. They're just gonna be a little bit more smushy. When the dates start boiling in that beautiful sugary syrup, the smell is just heaven. And this is the point where I'm always like, oh yeah, mom's making date loaf because the smell is so good. Okay, we're gonna grab our flour here, add it to our mixing bowl, and you can either give it a whisk or pour it through a sieve. Nice. Okay, so in our flour bowl here, I'm just going to make a very small well and we can add our egg. I'm just going to mix this egg in with the flour here. Now that our egg and flour is in there, I'm gonna pour in our beautiful date mixture here. And give this a good mix. Great. So I'm just getting all of that flour from the bottom, folding it over, making sure that it is well combined. And at this point here, we can also add in our salt and our coconut. And we are going to fold that in as well. All right, straight into our baking loaf tin here. So just pour it in. Mmm, smells good. I'm just going to smooth it out here, make sure all of this pan is nice and even with our batter here. Awesome. And then this is where we sprinkle on top our extra dates and our walnuts. So coat it nice and generously. Awesome. This is looking fantastic. And I'm just gonna give these little dates and walnuts just a little bit of a pat down so they sink into that mixture here. There we go, it's ready to go in the oven. 
can't lean it forward too much because <laughs> it'll cook unevenly. But um, well, this is gonna go into the oven now for um, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, ish so check yours we're going to check and rotate at halfway so 20 minutes and then we'll add some time and see how it's cooking but yeah should take about 40 to 45 minutes in total while our date loaf is baking away i have found a really nice positive mantra or quote for you today and i like to do that to give you something to think about and send the good vibes your way so the quote that i have found for you is if you really want something and really work hard and take advantage of opportunities and never give up, you will find a way. That is a quote by Jane Goodall. I thought it was a really great quote because it just means like never give up, keep going and you will find a way, your path will open for you. So keep going and don't give up. And now it's back to baking. Yes guys, check it out. How pretty, beautiful mm, and delicious does it look and smell. Oh my goodness, wow. So I actually took this out of the oven at 35 minutes because I could smell it. Sometimes I reckon when cakes or loaf cakes, um, cupcakes, cookies even are ready, they just emit this smell and I could smell it. So I was like, I better go check on that. It's like they're announcing that they're ready to you. So I could smell it and I went to check on it. This one, I was like, yep, we are done. I did the bounce test. I'm gonna do the skewer test now. Comes out clean, great. And they do continue to cook for a little bit while they're still in their tin. So you don't wanna overcook these. We wanna keep it nice, light and fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool now for about five minutes in the tin. And while that is happening, I am going to find something nice to serve it on. I have found the perfect plate here. So this was my Nana's, so it felt quite fitting recipe of my mum's plate of my nana's. So I'm just gonna grab this out now. And with the paper, you literally just grab the four ends and you should just be able to lift it straight up. So it's nice and easy like that. Place it wherever you like, whatever you're serving it on. And then let it all fold down. By this point, you should be able to handle it slightly. So just wiggle it off the parchment paper. Ta-da! That is a good looking date loaf, if I say so myself. Let's try this bad boy. I'm really, really excited. I'm just gonna cut myself off a nice end piece. I always like the end pieces for some reason. And slap some butter on it. I like to have it when it's quite warm as well. Check this out. Yum! So fluffy in the center. Smells good, there's a little bit of steam coming off and we've got like some nice crunchy notes as well from that toasted walnut. Time for some butter and a taste test. Okay, butter is on. You don't have to do that. I just swear by it. My husband doesn't do it for his, but I think it just adds a little bit extra. And I mean, it's butter, it tastes so good. Why wouldn't you add more butter? <laughs> okay, let's do it guys. So ready for this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. You even get these little chili bits coming through of the date. It's really incredible, the flavor. Yum. I'm gonna call it, I think this is better than banana bread. Don't hate me, but if you haven't tried it, come on, like give it a go and then you tell me what you like more because this is definitely on par. And if you're looking for something like banana bread, but a little bit more special, then this is the recipe for you. So there you go, guys, my mum's date loaf. And I had to try it for myself because I'm gonna be a mum of two soon. So I'm sure I'm gonna be making this all the time as well. I really hope that you love this recipe as much as I do and get to enjoy it with your friends and your family. And if there are any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make, make sure you let me know in the comments below. So please do give me a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well because I have a new video out every single week. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week. Bye.